lot of multi-talented people who love to go beyond their day job. And uh, the only thing that they sometimes lack is how do they make their dreams come true? Somebody's got a product in mind, somebody's got a game in mind, somebody's got a musical instrument in mind. Where do you come together and learn all of this? So we thought let's put together a STEAM school that has so much of perspective, that has people talking about how can you create something or where's the idea coming from, how do you productize that and all of these uh, different perspectives come together in a STEAM school program. Dharavi during our training and uh, figured out that they are very self-sufficient, they don't need any help. Uh, they have a lot of NGOs coming in, in and helping them with whatever they need help with. Sanitation is a problem, it's a huge problem, drainage is a problem. So these are smaller things that they get help with from the DMC but they need to maintain it. There are no rewards, there are no incentives for them to do this. So through an app that we want to design, we're incentivizing and gamifying the whole process of keeping the area clean and just helping each other out. One who has an iPad has access to a lot of e-learning modules that will make maths interesting. But what do these kids who barely have a municipality school to go to, what do they do? So for them, I'm trying to create a portable arm which will convert just about any table you have in your vicinity into a smart table. What a smart table does, it receives input from the kids and gives them feedback. The kind of input it gets and feedback is what we are controlling. So in this arm, we have a camera and a projector which will be installed out here. And kids will be given pegs or dots like this to play with, which they can place on a surface and the camera will follow the position of the dots, find the connecting lines, the connecting geometries and the projector will project that back onto the dots itself. So all the connecting angles will be shown, the perimeter of the shape will be shown, the area of the shape will be shown. We are also trying to put in shape recognition where once you have made a shape, the device will identify what shape you have made and tell you the name of it. Purpose behind creating this is to provide a resources specifically to underprivileged kids in poor areas where they cannot invest in too many smart devices or high-tech technology to make things visual and interesting and fun. Our team is basically working on this new street lighting which we call as SMILE. So basically a short form for sustainable, modular, intelligent, lights everywhere. So we're making it sustainable by powering it through solar, but we are making the whole solar powering mechanism more efficient by having a self-cleaning sort of a arrangement where you have the panels being cleaned automatically. The water used to clean these panels will be actually collected through uh, the humidity in the air by condensing it. People understand that by coming together and sharing our skills and backgrounds and stories, we can really take over our life and, and, and solve the challenges we face. got a notion for self-upgrading. So no matter what happens around us or in the economy or a policy, we can come together and decide what kind of skills we need in the future and how can we get those skills by ourselves. So kind of learning as we go in life and coming together to solve problems.